Hello folks, welcome to Vital Truth. Going to be a talking today about uh, original and counterfeit. Uh, I went and done some research on a diamond one time and uh, found out that a diamond is one of the hardest known substance to mankind. Uh, a diamond is formed about 70 miles underneath the ground. And uh, over a period of a lot of time, a lot of years, a piece of carbon or coal, if you please, that's what it is before it starts changing, through years of tremendous heat and pressure, this carbon or piece of coal starts making changes. The more pressure and heat is put on this, the more that it, it changes. It becomes hard and through all this heat and pressure, that's when the change starts. And a diamond is a valuable jewel. It's used for cutting purposes in tool shops. It's on photographic needles. It is uh, beautiful to look at when the diamond cutter polishes it down and cuts it down. It's a beautiful stone. It's a valuable stone. It's uh, durable. It lasts. I'm going to be reading a scripture right now in... Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, start at verse 1. This know also in the last days peerless time shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incompetent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from search turn away. And in verse 7 it says, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. And uh, I worked in a place a few years ago where that they had impersonators. Uh, everything from Elvis down to the modern day, country music impersonators, Elvis impersonators, about every country entertainer you could imagine, someone was imitating them. And they dedicated their lives because that was their living. And they would take videos of the original and they would study it. They would uh, mimic it. Every move that the original made, they would get it down pat and they was quite good at it. The looks, some, people, some even had surgery to make them look like the original artist. And now folks, we've got a lot of imitators in, in our society, in the churches. And they have practiced mimicking so long that they're good at it. And if we don't have the Spirit of the living God inside of us, a guiding us into all truth, we can be hoodwinked. They can pull the wool over our eyes. They can make us believe that they're all right. And Remember, for ever counterfeit, there's got to be an original. You cannot counterfeit something that don't exist. That's how you can know that the reality of the Lord Jesus Christ is real. Because people imitate. They imitate the Spirit movement. They imitate the fruits of the Spirit. They imitate the gifts of the Spirit. But see, there is an original. And the original will get the job done. Everything else will eventually come to naught 
If God don't build the house, it won't stand. And so, we need to examine ourselves and see where we stand with the Almighty God. Now, people lack diamonds. Women lack diamonds. Uh, a lot of people collect ju uh, stones and jewels. And a lot of people wear fake jewelry. The cost is so high for the original that they settle for imitation, which it looks good. It feels good. The rings, the jewelry, the necklaces, the earrings, whatever you would choose to wear, they look real. They look good, but they're not real. They're imitation. And so, I got to looking at the church world. I got to looking how things was happening in the church world. See, you can fake a lot of things. You can fake a lot of things for a little while. Maybe you go to church uh, two or three hours a week. Anybody can fake religion. They can fake for a little while. But if you're around these folks long enough, you will know them by their fruit. See, fruits are a character of mankind. That's not the works of God. That's not the fruits of God. That's the fruits of the Spirit. Fruits is what happens after you get into Jesus Christ and start being led by His Spirit. Then these works will come. The fruits of your labor is winning souls. But all these imitators, they're everywhere. And if you're not into Jesus Christ, tuned into Him and being led by the Holy Ghost, you can be fooled. But the Spirit is not a novice. The Spirit of God knows what's going on. Man can be hoodwinked. We can be uh, have the wool pulled over our eyes, but you can't fool the Holy Spirit. He knows reality. So friends, examine yourself today. Be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Don't settle for second best. Don't settle for imitation. Settle for the genuine. That would be the Lord Jesus Christ, God the Father, and His precious Holy Spirit that dwells in our hearts and guides us into all truth. May Jesus bless you.